I'm filming with another person in my room today, and this feels really weird, so we're gonna see how this goes. Got my book, got my outline, we're good to go. Hey guys, it's Riley, and welcome to my channel on this lovely Trans Tuesday. In today's trans education video, I am going to start an open discussion on cis people. This is in no way a diss, this is just educating trans people more on what cis people are, educating cis people themselves on the definition of what it's like to be cis, and so they can't say, oh, well I'm cis and you're cisphobic, because that doesn't exist. But we'll get into that to another video. So today, I'm going to touch on the definitions of cis and how it compares to being trans and things like that. The definition of being cis is basically opposite of the definition of being trans. It means the genitals you have match the gender you identify with. So if you identify as a woman and you are assigned female at birth, that means you are cis or cisgender. Cis and cisgender are in no way an insult. They are just a way to describe someone the same way as trans and transgender are used to describe trans people. Cis people won't have the opportunity and won't understand understand at any point what it's like to be trans, no matter how hard they try. Cis people don't have the same experiences with transition and things like that. They don't have the same experiences with the discrimination based on not identifying with the gender you were born with. And this is one of the main reasons why if you're trans, educating our cis friends can be extremely helpful. Talking to them about what your experience is like, but also clarifying that your experience does not equal everyone else's experience is a really cool thing to do. That's another reason why I do this series on my channel, so people who are cis and curious about what being trans is like and looking for an opinion from a trans person. That's the reason I have this series as well as talking and relating to other trans people. Some trans people are incredibly uncomfortable around cis people and there is a reason for that. Because cis people don't necessarily understand what they're going through even if they try, trans people can feel very isolated from their peers. I know personally I am extremely uncomfortable around random grown cis men and that is because those are the people that have caused the most trouble in my life with me and my identity and my transition. And it's not anything discriminatory against older cis men. It's just that when I'm around them, it makes me very uncomfortable. And it makes me uncomfortable because I have been the target of their jokes and things like that for so long and it's kind of hard to get over that, but it is something that I'm working on. The last thing I have to say to everyone, whether cis or trans, is just be nice to each other and hold respect for each other. We are different, but we are still one as a people, and we need to hold respect and love each other for who we are. So whether you are cisgender or whether you are transgender, just make sure you sit there and you love everybody else as a human being and give them the human respect and decency that they deserve. That's about all I have for this short little trans education video and a discussion on cisgender people. If you have anything else that you would like to talk about regarding cis and trans people, I would love for you to start a conversation in the comments below. I really love going through my comments and reading and replying to some of them, so make sure you go leave a comment with your thoughts. Please do try to be nice and respectful to other people down in the comments, though, because if there are rude comments down there, I will be removing them. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, and like I said, leave some comments and thoughts down below. If you want to see more of me in real time, you can be sure to follow me on all of my social medias, which is at the Riley Kyle on all platforms. And if you still want to see more of me, you can subscribe to this channel because I post two videos a week, one on Tuesday, one on Thursdays, and then I post one video a week at least on Mondays on my side channel, which is where I vlog and do some extra special fun stuff. So you can totally check that out if you want to. The links to all my socials and the links to my channel, to subscribe to this channel and to my side channel are all in the description so you can be sure to check those out and click it there. And that's about all I have for you guys today. I love you and I will see you on Thursday. Goodbye!